back to cranking out crafts and that's my name so today i'm going to show you how to make these uh, stand-up frames or pedestal frames or something like that it's a very very fun project i think they're great for like table decorations that kind of thing so we have these um what you're going to need is a frame and we actually sell frames that come like this there's a bunch of different shapes and sizes and all kinds of things um but it's just what you're looking for is a frame that has a like a flat bottom to it. You don't want one that's rounded because it's going to be hard to attach to the uh, candlestick. But other than that, you can use pretty much anything that's going to have this kind of straight edge to it. Uh, you also need some candlesticks or one candlestick. I have a few different heights and sizes for the candlesticks. So three different ones. As you can see, the the two sample frames here are like one really tall one, one really small one. It really just either way it'll work. Um, it's kind of nice to have a few different heights and stuff, especially if you're doing something on your table. So we do have three different, and they're wooden candlesticks. Kind of cool looking, got a nice base to them. So you need those, and then you're going to need some paint. Um, these I've actually spray painted, and then the one that I'm showing you today, I brushed acrylic paint onto. So this is the two pieces. I've already painted them. Um, medium-sized candlestick and uh, a frame and then all I'm going to do is take uh, some sandpaper this is like a little piece of sandpaper and we're just going to I'm just going to distress this I'm going to sand the edges down a little bit and I just want it to look kind of beat up I want it to look old so this is kind of like shabby chic <laughs> decor going on and I just want to make sure that all the sides kind of get this distress, carry it through the whole thing. You can do as much or as little of this as you want. I'm actually feeling a little bit more. So, and then I did the same thing for the candlestick and just took the, the sandpaper and kind of took off pieces here and there. Um, it's nice because if you can get like these little grooves and stuff like that, it always looks kind of cool. So after you're done doing that, then you're just going to take E6000 to connect it, to glue the two pieces together. And um, really easy to do. We have a large thing of E6000 here. I'm just going to do a couple of globs of glue right across from each other like that. And then the frame is going to sit right on top of it. Now the nice thing about E6000 in this instance is that if you we put the frame on, it is going to stick to your candlestick pretty much immediately. It's not gonna, you're like, you don't have to worry about waiting for it to, to set before you can leave it alone. So, because it's so thick. So, that's all you're gonna do, really. You set it on there. Um, it does have to set for 24 hours for it to be a permanent bond, but after that, you're going to have no problem with it like falling apart. E6000 is an awesome glue. So and that's pretty much it. If you have frames, there are, you know, a lot of frames have these little like tabs in the back to hold the pictures in. Well, because we're not putting pictures on these, you might want to take them out. If you want to take them out, like these, I just had them folded over underneath. But if you want to take them out, you can use, um, this is actually a pair of wire cutters. Uh, but I'm going to use it kind of like pliers. And just grab a hold of it and pull those pieces out. And then you won't have to worry about these showing from the front when you have your table display set up. And that's it. Hope you liked it.